Hello and welcome to my Unted tutorial series. This is lesson one or video one and in this one I'm going to show you how to customize your character. So let's get right into it. You want to click on the survivors button right under play because you can actually have multiple characters set up. So let's head into the first button up here called character. I'm going to take it from the top and move down. So in here we have your public name and private name. The public name, that is what is displayed on servers. Let's say I don't want to be called or be shown as binary vigilante on the server. Let's say I want to be shown as cookie. I can change it here. So this is basically where you can change your nickname. And down here, I'm going to come to the skill set in just a second, but down here is the different um, characters that you have. You have five in total you can customize to your liking. For example, this is my main one. Um, then I have this one I changed around with a little bit. Then I have this one, which I have not changed. And then I have this one, which I really like now. And this is probably going to be my new main one. Um, I tested some stuff with these two. So yeah, that's why they are like that. And we are going to basically customize our character to look like this today. So we're going to take this one, a fresh new one. So let's get to it. Skill set. The skill set is basically a thing that you set for your character, which is going to give you a few benefits in game. So for example, um, one of the things it gives you is it gives you the outfit that it's wearing. So Fisher, you will get that. Farmer, you will get a farmer's outfit. Um, thief, you will get the thief outfit, which to be honest, the thief skill set is one of my favorite, both because I believe it is uh, the clothing, the top and the bottoms. Uh, it is the clo clothing that has the most inventory space. So that is why I really like to go with the thief skill set, but also because um, in game you have skills and you use XP to raise those skills in certain areas. For example, parkour, you increase your crafting ability so you can craft better things. You can run for longer without lowering your stamina as much, that sort of stuff. And you get XP by killing zombies, mining for metal and chopping wood, etc. Now by choosing a skill set, for example, thief, it is going to lower the experience cost in the skill skills um, parkour and sneaky beaky. Sneaky beaky I really like because it it means that you're more sneaky around zombies and they you aren't going to attract as much attention. You're not going to be as loud. So I really like that one as well. And it also does it so when you die, you don't lose those skills you have put into, um, or you don't lose those levels you've put into that specific skill. Um, so that's this, the thief one. If you get the worker, for example, um, you get the price load in the skills crafting, mechanic and engineer. If you were to take fisher, the, the skills would be fishing and diving, farmer, agriculture and survival. I will leave a link down below for a pretty cool table that you can use um, to see the benefits that you will get. And so yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to take the thief just because I like what it gives me, as I said, and I'm going to now click back. Now we go to the appearance tab, which is basically where we get to choose our hair, our skin color, etc. So let's get back up to the top here. And let's start off with a face style. You have a bunch of different ones that you can see. I'm not going to click on every single one of them. Um, that looks funny, but I like this one. I'm going to take this one just because I look, think it looks funny. <laughs> so that is the face style. So let's take the hairstyle here. Um, we could choose a hairstyle. Fortunately, you can't really eh get to see it from the top, but you can actually take this one and then you can turn your character a little bit around. So that is really cool. So you can see how he looks from different angles. And I think I'm going to take um, that one. Yeah, I'm going to take that one. All right. So there's the hairstyle. You will be able to change the color of your hair in just a second. Let's go down to the beard style. This is basically Yep, you guessed it, where you select your beard. A beard is not really going to go well with my character right now. If I chose a different um, face style, it would. So if I chose, let's say that one, for example, and then I chose this one, then it would fit a lot better. But because I chose this one, I'm going to not select a beard. I like that. Um, and you, of course, the beard color will also be able to be changed together with the hair color. The skin color you can change right here. You have some presets here if you want to use those or you can literally make him yep, red or yellow or green. Oh dear, <laughs> that's so dear. Um, so yeah, you could change these. You could also go into the numbers directly and type something in instead or you could just use the sliders here. 
mine, I believe it's right here, and I get the color that I want. I think it's around here. Yep, let's go with that. I like that aqua color right there. That looks cool. Yep, I like that a lot. And here we have the hair color. Now the hair color is also going to, it's going to affect the hair, well, your hair up here and your facial hair, so your beard. So if I choose, if I just select the beard, you will be able to see that it changes both of those. So yeah, you can change those independently, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to take orange, I think. Mm, let's see, I can also make green, nah. I think I'm just gonna go with the normal default orange here. You have the sliders here again, if you wish to use the sliders or the numbers again. I'm just going to go with the default orange, I think. And you can change if your character should be right-handed or left-handed. That is up to you, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to leave that right-handed. All right, now we're going into the group section. This is mainly for multiplayer. You have a bunch of benefits if you're playing on multiplayer and are playing with your friends and are in a group. Um, if you're in a group, you will be able to see each other on the map. Um, you'll be able to access the same doors and lockers, uh, which is basically storage, the lockers are storage, and friendly fire will be off, so that's pretty cool, and your marker, you could, so you can set your marker color here. Um, I'm going to just put it as aqua, of course, right there, and I'm not in the group right now, but your groups would then be displayed here, and you would just select a group. All right, so that was the group. Next is the inventory, and I'm not going to go into much depth with this, this is basically the place where all your skins um, and mystery boxes are stored. I am going to make a separate video for this later down the road, so don't worry about this now. It is not crucial for surviving nor playing the game, so I'm just going to leave it at that. It is the place where your skins and mystery crates are stored. I will cover it at a later date. But that is pretty much how you set up your character. But that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. In the next video, we will be taking a look at how we start, how we are going to start our first world, choose map, etc. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.